It is a it is a wonderful Wednesday. Tis. Now, now we can say it. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening, everyone. And welcome to Transforming, Transforming You. you. Where it's all about you, unity, yes, usefulness, and understanding. That's something that you. we never. It, it really is. It really is. Oh. But, you know, and that's something that um we never um kind of broke kinda, down. Yeah, what, you know, what transforming you. That that is what the you is about. about. It's about unity. About just our just coming together in God, usefulness, yes. finding out what our purpose is and what we can do Come in the on. kingdom, what our assignments are. Talk about it. And then understanding. We need to understand this word. If yes. we're gonna live out the word, then we need to um be able to understand it as well. Amen. So it's all about you. All right. Amen. So um again, good evening. Good and evening. And as always. Um, we never want to waste your time, so we want to get right into it. But for those of you who don't know who we are, I'm Pastor Tymon Moore. Yes, and I am Pastor Theo D.C. Moore of Living Sacrifice Outreach, Outreach Ministries, Ministries, otherwise known as hashtag Elsom. Yes, and so um, this is another um, broadcast of Transforming You, which is our virtual Bible, Bible study. study. Yes, and we it do is. pray that you will hear something tonight that will bless you, yes. whether you're catching it live or if you're catching it the on replay. the replay, whether the replay is later on tonight, mm -hmm. tomorrow, a week, a Next month, a year that's from right. now. We just pray that it will bless you. Amen. In Amen. Jesus name. So um, we're going to get on with it. Let's get it started. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord God, we thank you. We thank you for yet another opportunity just to touch and agree, to, to be in line with your will and to allow your Holy Spirit yes, to sir. rest, rule, abide, and guide us on this journey into the knowledge of your word, Lord God. Please touch us, Lord, so that everything in us that is not like you can diminish completely so that only your Holy Spirit speaks and that it speaks powerfully and succinctly so that we're able to reach and touch the hearts and minds of all of your children. Mm -hmm. Allow them to be changed, transformed, renewed, rejuvenated, and restored according to your will and purpose. Allow this word to minister to their hearts and their yes. needs according to your power, Lord God, and the faith that lies in them. We will continue to give you the glory, honor, and praise, and thank you for the manifestation of your will, presence, and spirit and we'll never take it for granted. In Jesus' name we In pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. Well, our subject for consideration tonight yes, is, is God is, is not, not lacking. lacking. <laughs> Say that again. God, God is, is not lacking. lacking. Oh, we're going right. to have to break that down. We are. And before we start, I just have to give some major props and thanks mm. to my father, Oscar Yes. James. What's up, Daddy? Um, so Yes, and Daddy, I meant to call you to tell you to log on because you know my father. He don't be on Facebook. He got a page. He got like <laughs> maybe like twenty friends. I don't know. My father don't be on Facebook. Yeah. But um, he gave me a word. He the actually the title, and he said, you know, just think about that. Yeah. He, he said, really did. He blessed yeah, us with that. He word. really did. And the more we started talking about it, the more God started speaking. Yes, it but, did. But um, this will be a semi quick word tonight. If it goes any longer, it'll be truly about the leading of the Holy Ghost. That's right. But we're gonna give you what God gave us. And Amen. we welcome everybody who's in attendance. Yes. Let's and go we, ahead and, and, and share this on your timeline. That's you right. You know somebody who would benefit. Share it. Look, tag thank somebody you. even. Yes. Thank you so much. We love Amen. you. Amen. All right. So we are coming from Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. The second chapter. The second chapter. Verses one through seven. seven. That's right. Okay. And so um, right now, this is Israel you know, the Israelites wandering through the wilderness. Come on. Still, okay? So um, it starts. Then we turned around and headed back across the wilderness toward the Red Sea. Mm. I, I need to read that again. Uh, read that again. Look, look. Then we turned around and headed back across the wilderness toward the Red Sea. Let me just put a little point there. Didn't God deliver the Israelites and bring them through the Red yeah. Sea? Yeah. But now they're going back to uh, it. Uh, that That's what the word that, said. That wandering, that circle. Okay. That's what the word now, said. How many of us, God has brought us out of something. Come on. But then we ended up right back at the, okay. L let me keep going. 
Listen. So just as the Lord had instructed me, and we wandered around in the region of Mount Seir for a long time. A long time. Then at last, the Lord said to me, you have been wandering around in this hill country long enough. Mm. Turn to the north. Give these orders to the people. You will pass through the country belonging to your relatives, the Edomites, mm -hmm. the descendants of Esau, who live in Seir. The Edomites will feel threatened. Come on. So be careful. Do not bother them. For I have given them all the hill country around Mount Seir as their property. Yes, and I will not give you even one square foot of their land. That's right. If you need food to eat or water to drink, pay them for it. For the Lord, and this is our key verse. Seven, yes, it is. For the Lord your God has blessed you in everything, everything you have done. Hallelujah. He has watched your every step through this great wilderness. During these 40 years, the Lord, your God, has been with you and you have that lacked, lacked nothing. nothing. Amen. Amen. And again, that was Deuteronomy chapter two, verses one through seven from the New Living Translation. Amen. Amen. So, Amen. so as, as we get into this word and break it down, it's so important that we understand what lack represents. Lack yes. represents uh, what, what we feel is missing in our life. Lack represents mm -hmm. not enough money, not enough resources. It could be no relationship. I don't have anybody. That's true. It's, it's, it's everything that we feel that we need more of or that we don't like have. Where there's a deficiency right. in the area. Mm -hmm. Right. And so we need to understand why it's so important for us to understand that God is not lacking. He's not. So so let's just look to his word, right? Because what we need to understand if we look at Psalm 37 verse 25, it says, "Once mm -hmm. I was young, Listen. and now I'm old." Come on now. Yet I have never seen the godly abandoned or their children begging for food. Y'all know what that King James say. Hit him with listen, it. Listen, listen, listen. I never seen the I, righteous I forsaken. I once was old. His I seed. once was young and now I'm old. Oh, but right. I never seen, seen the, the righteous, righteous forsaken. forsaken nor his nor. seed begging. Bread. Come on. And this scripture yeah, clearly states that when we are in God, right? Or when we know God and live a life according to God, Come on. that we will never be abandoned, will never be forsaken. But see, but, but you just said the key thing, according to God's will. Oh, uh, that is a very because valid point. Because a lot of us don't want to live according to God's will, but we still want to, act, oh, I'm well, sorry, well, I'm going to have, No, okay. no, you, it's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. Because, you know, I received a, I, I received a, a I guess some enlightenment about a w the word of God, you know, mm -hmm. where it says that um, greater is he in me than he who is in the world. Right. And, and, and as we, we looked at that and we were talking about how, you know, yes. most of the time we, we, we interpret that as, you know, greater is God in me than, 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 than the enemy in the world. Right. right. But, but what I want you all to really try to focus on that as is greater. Are you yes. in God than you in the world? Come Did you on, hear now. that? Did you hear it? Greater are you in God than you in the world? Now don't step outside of God and then expect to still be triumphant. Come on. And that, and that's what brings us to the first point, which is your life in him limits lack That's it. because when Come you're on. in God, how can you lack? If God is everything, he is the, I am, he is anything and everything we need. Come so on. in him, how can we possibly lack? How you understand what I'm saying? I, I, I hope I'm speaking you. clearly. You are, you are. You're going to need to take them to the yes, next level. Uh, okay. I, I will. And, and what I really want to do is um, kind of just bring out something in the um, key scripture, mm. um, well, from one through seven, basically, and break something out that while I was reading, I said, oh, my gosh, th th this is, yeah, we can't let this, you know, just pass oh, by. Oh, no, let's but, not overlook it. And then I'm going to get to the next point, but I just want to point this out here. Talk about it. The word is talking about the Israelites, and, you know, we know that because of their disobedience, they were mm -hmm. just wandering around. Really, uh, really, it was the disobedience of the, those who came out of Egypt. Right. And then so they all had to die off. And, you know, then the children of Israel and, you know, they were able to go in and, and inherit the promised land. Right. Okay, great. 
Well, God is telling them to go back to the Red Sea. Right. Which is almost like, you know, like, my, uh, um, what's this, Monopoly? <laughs> where, um, where they, when you get that, you pull that card and you got to go all the way back. You know, or, you know, do not pass gold. Do, do not, not collect, collect $200. Go. And you like... <laughs> Look, you, know, you, you feel like you in jail. Go to you know, jail. You know Go saying? directly to jail. You know, so, so what I'm saying is even though God didn't put them back on the other side of the Red Sea, mm. and they need to be thankful for that, Come they on. still had to go back to where they came from, to a place that they should have not, which should have been already in, in their past. But nevertheless, God is still so gracious yes. that he still was taking care of them. But this is the part that was really interesting to me. What was that? Um, verse four, where it says, um, well, God tells Moses, give these orders to the people. You will pass through the country belonging to your relatives, the Edomites, the descendants of Esau. First of all, who were the Israelites? The Israelites are the descendants of Jacob. Jacob, yes, yes, yes. The 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 wait a minute, the patriarch formerly known as Jacob. Right, Israel. <laughs> he had a name change he legally did, I mean, he did, through the he blood did. and he the really power did. of God. He Hallelujah. Really did. He really did. So he had a name change. Okay. So now if we go back and we look at the history between. Because remember, Jacob was a twin. Yes. Yeah. His, his twin was who? Esau. Esau. Oh, who, why? Who came out first? Esau. Esau. Now, and they were even fighting in the womb. Mm. And Esau, bows. right, they really were. And Esau broke forth first. But Esau just being just ignorant and, and letting his flesh get the best of him and not right. using his mind, he sold his birthright mm. to Jacob. And then Jacob's mother, you know, helped him trick his father into giving him the blessing that should have been Esau, which is why later on, while Jacob was scared, you know, running away from Esau because mm -hmm. he knew Esau had every right to really get into his behind, True. knock his block off, and even kill him. Right. Okay. So then when he heard that Esau was around, he starts sending all these gifts, you know, and then he goes to Esau, he's bending down and he's he's apologizing, calling him my lord it's and all of this. And then Esau sees him, he's like, You don't gotta do all of this. And then he, you know, they hug and they kiss and he forgives him. Woo. All of this Stress stuff, free. right? Okay. So getting back to verse four where it says the Edomites, okay, so um, you were passed through the country belonging to your relative, the Edomites, the descendants of Esau, who, who live, live in Seir. Seir. Here it is. The Edomites will, will feel, feel threatened. threatened. So be careful. Come on. Why, why would the Edomites, the descendants of Esau, mm. feel threatened when the descendants of Jacob slash Israel come around? Well, could it be because it's the descendants that tricked their predecessor? out of their birthright and stole a birthright. So maybe they would think that the descendants would come try to steal the their stuff. They, you know, and so in and the, and the Israelites are probably sitting around saying like, well, you know, well, we didn't do anything. Why are they feeling threatened? Yes. You know, we just trying to come through. Look, we trying to get about this situation. You know we, we ain't thinking about that. But so I'm saying that to make a point. Make there are some people that you will encounter who will, they might be possessive, mm. they might be territorial. Oh, you speaking good. They they might um lash out in ways, and you will not understand. Really? And what I want to let you know is to have a little compassion. This is why the Bible mm. says, be slow to speak and quick to hear. So, mm. and, and then the Bible talks about, let, uh, know those who labor among you. Come on. Take some time and get to know some people, because what you may find out is that the way they are acting and how they're treating you has nothing to do with you. you ain't got it has to do with something it. to do with something in their bloodline. That's something right. in their past that Come has happened on. to them that's causing them to react the way that they're acting. It's not true. So don't always be so quick to get offensive. Trust me, I understand. Sometimes you know, our, our flesh will respond faster than we even realize it. And before right. we know, we done said something. But this is why you gotta discipline your flesh. Come on. Kill that flesh daily. Let me tell you something. Uh, just a touch and agree mm -hmm. with that before we move on. It's just like when I used to sell a cold uh, a, a telephone service. I had a supervisor who used to have this saying. He used to say, when you get on the phone and you're talking to people and they acting all stank, it's not personal. No. It's the person. They dealt with something in their past. They're harboring some ill feelings. They feel away. Maybe they had yes. a bad day, but you taking it personally. Come but on. when we operate in kingdom, we can't take it personally. It's not personal. It's the
person, or rather, it's the spirit possessing the person. Come true. on, pay that's attention. True. That's true. That's very true. So I just want to just to give that word of wisdom to somebody to just take it, take a step back. Mm -hmm. Now they may have come off wrong and nasty, completely and all sideways. Of that, you but if you it. are a child of God, you don't respond the way the world responds. Amen. Now listen, I know somebody might say, "Well, sometimes I do." No, I'm going to speak that into your life. You don't respond the way the world Amen. responds when you are a child of God. So let's keep reading. Number uh, verse five. God gives a word. Do not bother, bother them, because God knows why they act in that way. Mm -hmm. He was there. He okay. It. He says, "For I have given them all the hill country around Mount Seir as their property, and I will not give you even one square foot of their land." God is saying to the Israelites, "This is all theirs." And so they may feel some territorialism about their area because they know what it feels like. Even if they were, even if the story wasn't exactly told to them about the history between mm -hmm. Jacob and and um and uh, um and Esau, if if it's in your bloodline, there's the something. Bloodline. Okay, look, 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 let me say generational. this. Um, and some single mothers will understand what I'm saying. You have a child. The father's not around, not in a life at all. But that child grow up and you start seeing some things in them. You say, oh, my gosh, they do this just like their father. They sleep just like their father. They scratch their head just like their father. Mm. They, all of these things, or, or, or they give that side look just like their father, or they laugh just like their father. And they never saw the father. Mm. They never were around the oh, father. you teaching. you teaching. So some people have some ways that they don't even understand themselves Where why they are like from. that. Teach. But it takes somebody. It takes a child of God. Hallelujah. How about she yes, Lord God. It oh. takes a child of God to get in the spirit mm. and be able to discern some things about people. Because I'm gonna tell you one thing: love always wins. Hallelujah, you can never Jesus. go wrong with love. Hallelujah. The devil will make you feel like a fool for it, but love will take you further yes, than will. clapping back. Yes, and I'm gonna I'm I'm move on from there. Woo! Oh my God. Look. So he continues on in verse six. If you need food to eat or water to drink. Pay, Pay them, them for it. For seven. For the Lord your God has blessed you in everything, everything. you have everything. done. Stop, stop being so selfish in some things. If Jesus. I have blessed you, stop. Or, or being um, argumentative or pouting about what somebody else is doing when I've already blessed you. You good. Come on. You in a bet if you are in a better position than that person, have some patience with them. Mm, you teaching. Okay. You teaching. All right. Come on. I'm going to go on, on. To, to the second point. Mm, the second first point. point uh, for those of you who are just joining right. us, the message is God is, is not, not lacking. lacking. The first um, point to consider was your life in him limits, limits lack. lack. Hallelujah, Jesus. Okay? So if yeah. you're in him, you you're lack not. Basically. <laughs> basically. Okay? And even if you think you're lacking, you're really not. Don't but worry. And we're going to talk about, about that. that. We're going to talk about All that. All right. So it, the second point, if you're lacking... Be honest and admit the reason why. Oh, you just hit somebody. Now, okay, I'm gonna just take a pause for the cause right there. Oh, you talking about if people? If you are lacking, be honest and admit the, the reason, reason why. The reason why you're lacking. All right, Deuteronomy, uh, twenty-eight. Mm. Versus now, for those of you who are writing and in your spare time, right? Well, no, I'm not even gonna say your spare time. In mm -hmm. your intentional time that you're gonna set Come aside on, for you the putting, Lord, so you putting time aside for the Lord. Hallelujah! Okay. I would encourage you to read Deuteronomy chapter 28 in its entirety. The, Just whole, read the whole thing. thing. Okay, but I'm only gonna deal with a couple of verses. Just one and First, two. one and two which says, if you fully obey the Lord, your God, and carefully keep all his commands that I am giving you today, the Lord, your God, will set you high above all the nations Hallelujah. of the world. You will experience all these blessings if you obey the Lord, your God. Mm. And in verses 3 through 14, for some of you who are church, who, you know, are familiar with this, I'm um, passing the scripture. We're talking about you blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed mm. in it. Bless, your your bass is going to be blessed. Your, 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 your crop's going to be blessed. Your animals are going to be blessed. All of that. Sea. But yes, Fred Hammond. Be thank blessed. you. Thank you, Fred. Okay. We mm -hmm. love you so much. Hallelujah. Okay. So that that's the blessings. But. A lot of people want to talk about the blessing, but they don't want to go back down to uh, to verses 15 through 20 and mm, listen to this. Tell them. 
These are the curses for disobedience. But if you refuse to listen to the Lord your God and do not obey all the commands and decrees I am giving you today, all these curses will come and over overwhelm you. Jesus. Your towns and your fields will be cursed. Your fruit baskets and breadboards will be cursed. Your children and your crops will be cursed. The offspring of your herds and flocks will be cursed. Wherever you go and whatever you do, you will be cursed. The Lord himself will send on you curses, confusion, Woo. and frustration in everything you do until at last you are completely destroyed Jesus. for doing evil and abandoning me. Now listen to me. Wow. The curses continue. They do. Now, that's just stopping at 20. That was uh, 15 through 20 talking about the curses. Look. Okay? And the curses is more detailed than the blessings were. They were. Now, I'm going to skip down to verses 47 and 48. If you do not serve the Lord your God with joy and enthusiasm for the abundant benefits you have received, but you want to whine and complain and talk about what you don't have and what God ain't blessed you for with and how you've been waiting and you still ain't got it. Jesus. And God, I've been faithful and I don't understand why you ain't gave me my breakthrough, but you still got food to eat. You still have water. You still have your health. It may not be the best, but you ain't dead. You're not bedridden. And even if you are bedridden, you're still alive and have an opportunity Come to be on. healed. You're teaching. You hear what I'm saying? You're teaching. And, or then you're doing stuff in the name of God, but you're doing it with an attitude. Mm. You're doing it begrudgingly. Come on. You're saying everything. Well, Lord, I don't really want to do this, but because you said do it, I'm going to do it and think that that's obedience. Think the devil is blessed. a liar. Think you're going to get blessed because of Serve that. the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Order. Jesus in the morning. She's trying to teach Verse 48 says, you will serve. So if you don't serve the Lord, your God will joy and enthusiasm for mm. the abundant benefits you have received. You will serve your enemies. You wonder why you want a job and you've been in this position and you know everything about this position and they bring somebody else in and you got to train them and they train them and be your supervisor and you mad and wondering why. Come on. Were you honest with yourself? Did you check yourself to see what's your attitude on your job? On your job, do you gossip? Uh, are are you a complainer? Or, or do you take late lunches? Do you come in when you feel like it? Are you uh, lying and calling out when you, when you ain't really sick? Come on, come on. Faking the you will start. You will serve your enemies, whom the Lord will send against you. Jesus, you saying this the devil? No, God said I did it. Jesus, but I did it in response to your disobedience and your ungratefulness. Oh, Jesus, Look, you will be left hungry, thirsty, naked, and lacking in everything. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. The Lord will put an iron yoke on your neck, oppressing you harshly until he has destroyed, destroyed you. you. So now when he says the, um, that you will be left hungry, thirsty, naked, and lacking in everything, you wonder why you see some people and their great-grandmother died broke mm -hmm. and, and then the grandmother died broke Come on. and their mother died broke Come on. and they always broke. Come on. These are generational curses and somebody in the family got to be the one to say, uh-uh, this stops with me. I'm not going to have my children and my children's children operating in lack. If we saying that we're in God, what was that first point? Look, look, your life in him limits lack. Absolutely. So with this point saying that you need to be honest about the reason why. So first of all, let's make sure that we ruling out disobedience. Mm -hmm. Because if you be in disobedience, you have no room no to, to room. say anything, no Nothing. leg to stand on. And, and uh, let me tell you, tell me, let me tell you how much you don't have a leg mm, to stand going on. In. All your legs need to be cut off because you need to be on your face repenting. I'm gonna stand behind you because you getting them. I'm so sorry, Pastor. Tom. Look, 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 you getting them. I'm so sorry. But I feel this thing so strongly. Listen. You don't have a leg to stand on because you need to be on your face. Jesus. Telling God sorry with your sincere heart and showing him with your actions. Get so that's number one. The second part of being honest with yourself is if you are really truly in right standing with God, is the lack really lack? Or is it in God's plan? Come on. Because if everything belongs to the Lord. Look. 
and you are in his will, then what you think you're lacking is just a part of the plan. It's part of the process because arrogance will be your downfall. Come on here. Come on. It says pride comes before the fall. Because when you get caught up, right, in the things and, and, and what's going on or thinking that you're above reproach mm -hmm. and now you operating in a spirit of vanity and, and self-exhortation, come on now, come on, yeah. so you're not paying attention to what God is doing. No, now you're suffering and you want to go to God in this season, Jesus. right, saying, Lord, help me. I don't know why not taking into consideration what your actions are, you need to check yourself. You need to check yourself. Look, look that's why I'm going to just stand behind her and let her get you. I'm just, I'm sorry. Well, you know. Well, you know, it, it's, 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 okay. it's, it's, see, the thing is, is that it's hard enough to deal with the world being judgmental. Come on now. Coming at people sideways. Come on. Being disrespectful. Come operating on. in deceit. Come on. And dysfunction. Come on. Operating in a spirit of Jezebel. Mm. operating in a spirit of rebellion and witchcraft. Yeah. And now we got to expect that from the body of Christ, um, the, um, blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. The devil is a liar. You need to recognize who you serve. You and to. if you serve him, shouldn't you act like I was it? just about to say, you I'm need just to act saying. Like you need to act like If it. you serve him, Jesus. shouldn't there be oh, evidence my. of it? Jesus in the morning. Hallelujah. Jesus. Okay. Okay. Because y'all think we're trying to get on you, but we're really, we, we love y'all. Yes. And I'm, and we're really I'm trying to help you. I'm not trying this to come is... at nobody like that, but. We're rebuking the spirit. Thank you. Because if it'll save your spirit. life, then I'll come even harder. Look, look. It says, uh, it says, because you know, my wife, my wife good at quoting. What's that scripture about a hard, a hard word that comes in love? I don't know what you're talking about. I have to, we'll, we'll have to look it up. Oh, we're going to look that up. Yeah, because yes. sometimes when people telling you something and it feels coarse, right? It, it, it may hurt a little bit, mm, but when mm. it's in love, it's to bless you. It it's is. to edify the kingdom. So don't oh, look at us gosh. like we're trying to, you know, clap, oh. but we're really trying to help you because we know what it's like to walk like that yeah. and uh, have to deal with the repercussions. Yes. Yeah. Now, I don't usually uh, look at the screen too much, but, you know, but Jam Luther, I appreciate that. Love you. Look. <laughs> Because uh, I, I I was feeling a little bad for a second. I said, Lord, have mercy. Appreciate like, they you. gonna log off because they said, What she who she is yelling who at she me? Yelling she yelling at know me like that. She don't know what I've been going. Next popping. I saw some next popping really in was. the spirit. And, 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 on, and on that note with the next popping, here come the third. The, the, the third, third point. Now, no, no, listen, y'all, no, 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 look, look, for real, for real. When we was um, doing this message, when I got to this point, I was cracking up. <laughs> All right. I was cracking look, look, look. up. Okay, so the, we, we're gonna read. We're gonna read the. Let's get to yes, the word. Okay, but, the but let, let's let's just go back over. We're the going points. to recap the point. Yes. So the, the first, first point yes. is your life in Him limits lack. Amen. 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 The second Amen. one, if you're lacking, be honest and admit the, the reason, reason why. why. And, and so the as third, we get ready to get into the third, right? If our you, third and final, if you want. To maintain the blessings from God. Wait, wait, say that again, please. If you want to maintain the blessings of God, go say, put, put some, some respect, respect on, on his name. name. Put some respect, put some on, respect on, the name. on it. Put some respect on it. Y'all know what we're talking about. Put some respect on his R -E -S -P -E -K. name. R E S P E K. Put some respect Come on his name. Ah, Shana. See, look, look, look. Let, let me get into the word. Ah! Let me get into the word. We're going to bring it back. Put some respect on it. Put some respect on it. Look, Psalms 34, yes. 8 through 14, it says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Oh, my. Oh, the joys of those who take refuge in him. Come on here. Fear the Lord, yes. you, his godly people. Uh -huh. For those who fear him will have all they need. Fear them. Even strong young lions sometimes mm -hmm. go hungry. Yes. But those who trust in the Lord will lack no good thing. Come, my children, and listen to me, mm -hmm. and I will teach you to fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. Does anyone want to live a life that is long and prosperous? Then keep your tongue from speaking evil mm -hmm. and your lips from telling lies. Check Turn it. away from evil and do good. Search for peace and work to maintain it. All right, look, I need y'all to understand respect. something. I need to <laughs> plus I respect on his look, name. Look, I need y'all to understand Jesus. something. We can't allow our trial 
to cause us Good work, to Nikki. turn Thank you, away. Nikki. We can't allow our trials to turn us away from the will of God. Let's yes. just go back to the text. Remember how yes. remember how Pastor Theodore, she was going in on verses 4 through 6 when she was talking about when they was walking through the, uh, the land of the Edomites and how, you know, don't steal from them, mm -hmm. don't take from them and plunder. How many of us have been through the situation? And I'm talking to all of my ex hustlers, all my ex play, all my ex players, all my neck, my, my ex stick up men, right? Anybody who used to act unscrupulous and and unchivalrous and unblessed. Come on. In the will of God, Come on. right? When you going through hard times, yes, sir. And you like, I could easily go back to doing. Oh. Myself. I could easily go oh. and back to doing the things that I used to do because the if money I, would be faster. If I put look, some white out on some of the scriptures come on, and pretend that they look, ain't look, there. Look, 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 look. If I put a little lie on my paperwork so I get a little extra on my return because my, my ends is, is, is not ending. You know, matter of fact, my ends are ending. Right, right, right. My that, means, my ends is over. My means aren't my meaningful. Over. Okay, right, right. And it looked like lack. So now, Come on. so now you're going to do evil, right? Wow. And you're going to search for calamity to try to maintain it. No, it says turn away from evil yes. and do good. Search for peace and work to maintain it. See, because the children of Israel could have did what Jacob did. They could have yeah. ran up on the Edomites. They could have. They, they could have struck them down. They, they could have. Yeah. They could have been like. It could have been like. Uh, 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 break yourself. You right. know, break yourself. And, and ran through them. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yo, don't you know we the blessed ones? Yes. Y'all the others. Oh, ain't that the truth? Because so many times Ooh. we'll walk up in a place like, don't you know who I am? I'm blessed of the oh. Lord. This is mine. I'm going to take it Wait a when minute. it ain't yours to take. When you start, oh, oh, because that right there is a sedge. I'm not going to go there tonight. Look, look. But a sedge in the titles. Do not let your title trip you up, boo. Because you ain't nothing but dust like the rest of us. Now, you can make that a hashtag right there. Just, Just like, like the, the rest, rest of us. us. <laughs> Don't get tripped up over that we title. We're going to have t-shirts. You dust you can have a like title the rest of with us. no integrity Come and on. no character. Come on. Come Jesus on. in the morning. Look, look. So you got to put respect on his name. Put, put some respect on you it. You got to understand that he's the one who bought you out. So if he tells you you can't go back, don't go back. Don't respect go back. the name of the Lord. That's if it. you know that it's because of his blood that you are redeemed and saved, Come respect on. the name of the oh Lord. Oh, my God. Yes. If you know that you have been bought at a price, don't sell yourself short. Ooh. Respect the name of the Lord. Thank look, you, who, who are we talking to tonight? Oh See, you got to understand, there is, n look, God is not lacking. See, look, 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 God equals not lacking. That's it. If you move and operate in God, you won't lack. God is not lacking. God is abundance. Now, God is blessings. Yes, God yes. is your way out. God is Come your on, refuge. Yeah. God is your healer. Yes, he God is. God is not lacking. He's a lot of things, but he's not lacking. Uh, hallelujah, Jesus. Now, let me just add this in there because you have a lot of people who feel like, because this is one of the other things we talked about, who, the people who feel like that God has forsaken them, mm. that God has left them. Well, God, well, well, I was going through this. Well, well, God didn't bring me out. Where was God? Where was God? And I, and I was saying this to my husband. I said, it's like this analogy, why. okay? The movie The Wiz. Oh, and as I will continue good. to see, you know, I, I I think in movies, you know, we kind of both do it to a degree, but I think I do more than him. But but the movie The Wiz, right? So let's say, you know, we you got Dorothy, you got the Tin mm -hmm. Man, you got the Scarecrow, you got the Cowardly Lion. We ain't gonna oh. do it. Yeah, <laughs> you ever do that? No. <laughs> King of the Four. Okay, go ahead. He needs it. 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 Let's talk about tonight. it. Let's talk about but it. But anyway, so they go on down a yellow brick road on their way to the Emerald City, right? But the cowardly lion is scared. Sure. That's why he's the cowardly lion. Mm -hmm. He's scared of everything. So I pause. So it... I can't... Stay focused. Boom, boom, get it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving it away. I'm sorry. Okay, so if the cowardly lion, because he was scared mm. of the journey and not knowing what was going to happen, and knowing whether or not they was going to get what they was looking for, and he went off and went his own direction. Right, because he's what, scared. Yes. 
would it be fair for the cowardly lion to say, well, Dorothy, the Tin Man, and the Scarecrow, they left me. They abandoned me. No, boo. No, they didn't. Mm -hmm. They were still on the yellow brick road. Right. Heading to the Emerald City Wait, they to go the and path. make their request known. They, they followed the path. They followed and completed the, path. the journey. They followed the light. They followed the light. They followed the light. And they got right. And they better say that they followed the light you understand what i'm saying so i'm saying that to say a lot of us we feel we want to cry oh well god left me well where was god with this where was mm -hmm. god with that and god is saying where i ain't never you? left where were where you, were you? <laughs> you were supposed to be walking with me and you went off somewhere listen let, uh, let's go back to genesis yeah oh can we go back to god genesis? and adam they was walking in the cool of the evening every day together and then god is like uh uh, we're supposed to be meeting around around here. Where is you where, at? Adam, where art thou? Where is you at? And he's like, oh, well, I'm naked. Who told you you was naked? We're supposed to be walking and talking together. together. But you are somewhere being disobedient, doing the one thing I told you not to do. Off in the fog. With, with, with another, we'll never do, you, you don't know don't where they're going. Where they going. Okay, that's, right. another, that's another movie, y'all. But the bottom right. line is, don't blame God mm -mm. for leaving you when you the one who left God. Point number two, be honest and admit the reason why admit you're laughing. Why. Come on now. So, oh, so yeah, this has been a great um, time. I'm sorry, yes. you have something else no, you no, want to I'm, say? No, no, I'm just going to recap. Yeah, go I'm ahead. I'm going to just recap. I'm so, good. remember, yeah. God is yes. not lacking. He Point is number one, not. your life in him limits lack. It limits it. Because I've never seen the righteous forsaken, oh, nor his seed begging bread. Come on now. Number two. If you're lacking, be honest, be honest and, and admit, admit the, the reason, reason why. why. Because if God is abundant, why are you lacking? Come, Come on now. And third, but last, and certainly not least, if you want to maintain the blessings of God, put, put some respect, respect on, on his, his name. name. Put, put some, some respect, respect on it. Who we talking to tonight? Yes, Who yes, you talking to tonight? yes, and yes. And we pray and believe yes, Nikki, he's that enough. the word of the Lord has blessed you tonight. Yes, Lord. We yes, are so Lord. grateful for you all being in attendance. So we're going to allow this awesome woman yes. of God to close us in prayer. Yes, and 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 I just want to say just thank you to everybody who did tune yes, in. Yes, we and, appreciate you um, I see a lot of names. I don't want to start calling some, but I do right. want to shout out my brother Aaron. Love you so much. Yes, um, just yes, everybody. Who everybody, is, um, Lanika, everybody. Everybody who's, who's been on tonight. Thank you so much. That's just the okay, Nikki. So we love gonna, all of y'all. Yes, yes. We're going to just go before God in prayer tonight. Jesus, Father God, in Jesus' name, God, we just thank Thank you tonight for this word. Hallelujah. God, we thank you, God, for you because Amen. this word is you. Yes, it is, we God. thank you, God, for this life. Hallelujah. That we were able to dig into and to really go through the scripture, God. Yes, and God, we speak right now that these words that are life, God, that they will resurrect someone today, God. <laughs> that they will go in and revive someone tonight, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, whether they are watching it now mm -hmm. or later on, God. We speak that it will go into them and God, they will allow it to revolutionize them and to transform them first in their mind so that their actions and their lifestyle can follow God in the name of Jesus. God, we speak right now, God, that everything that has been spoken, every word of life, God, that it will not fall to the ground, God, but that it will take root, that the enemy will not come along, God, and try to uproot those seeds, God, but that whatever was planted tonight, God, that you will allow others to water it as you send the increase in the name of Jesus. And God, we speak right now, if there is somebody who does not know you as Lord and Savior, yes, hallelujah, we speak right now, if you are out there and you do not know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I need you to know him. I mean, the Bible says that hell is enlarging itself daily. daily. Please don't let hell be making room for you. Oh, my God. If Jesus said in my father's house, there are many mansions. You can have one, too. You know why? Because God is not lacking. No, he is he not going to run out of mansions. So there all. will be one for you if you accept him. In the name of Jesus. So all you have to do is have a sincere heart. That's it. Have a, you don't have to have fancy words. Nope. You don't have to have a whole 
litany of things to say. Just, Just tell God that you are a sinner, that you yes. recognize that you deserve to pay the penalty Repent. of death. Hallelujah. But you're so glad and so grateful that Jesus did it for you. And that you accept that salvation yes, through Jesus Christ. Through Jesus. And that now you want to live your life for him. Come on. Ask him to come into your heart. Ask his Holy Spirit to fill you yes. so it can lead and guide you into all manner of truth. Ask him to show you who to connect to. Mm, hallelujah. So that way Jesus. you can be discipled. Yes. If you're looking for a church home, ask him to show you where, where to go. To and when go. you get there, have your only focus being growing in the word. Hallelujah. Not making friends. Come on. And finding out what your talents are, what your gifts are, and how you can use them for the kingdom of God. Yes, Not Lord. just to be locked inside of a church Look, building, to but to use it for the kingdom. If yes. you're going to use that gift through that ministry for the kingdom, that's great. But make sure that your direction from the Lord is clear. Amen. Help him. Ha ask him to help you to kill your flesh. You teach him. You so that you won't him. continue to do the things that disappoint him and that anger him and that frustrate him and that bring upon these curses. Come on. So that way you can inherit the blessing so that so that you can say that I am not in lack. Yes, Lord. And that Hallelujah. anything I don't have is because God never wanted me to have it. Or maybe it's just not my time yet. Yes, Lord. So in the meantime, put some respect on his name. Yes. And we come against the spirit of stagnation. So Jesus, all of those come who on have here. Been sitting and standing and sitting oh, and standing my. in the houses of worship that oh, they attend my. and haven't been moving forward. Now that's Hallelujah. Good. We come against the spirit of stagnation now oh. in the name of Jesus because you are called to his house to learn, be equipped, and to move forward in what God has called you to do. Mm. You don't just go to get a word. You, you go to become the word. Oh, you go to have God. the word implanted so it grows and manifests in your life so that you can be used according to God's will. I need y'all to come against that spirit of stagnation. The blood of Jesus, you are not just a placeholder and someone to warm a seat. You are not just someone who's supposed to be in the number. You are to be used to increase the number. My God. I am I'm I'm feeling it so strong. Yes, yes. I'm, it's so serious that we don't get stagnant yes. when we sit in the houses of God. Stagnation and sitting still breeds bacteria. Come bacteria on. represents spirits that are not like God and are unclean. Jesus. You gotta be flowing, you gotta be moving. Remember, mm. he is the living water, rivers oh. of living water, rushing, flowing water. If you're not moving and you're not flowing. Oh, my then God. you're stagnant. And when you're Jesus. stagnant, you get stank. And when you get stank, then you're not moving and you grow bacteria. And that pestilence can grow in you like oh mosquitoes. And, and on. Come on, y'all see what happened to a puddle that just sit, don't evaporate because it ain't no sun next to, come on now, y'all seen it? The little yes. things wiggling in it, turning okay. into mosquito. I know it's getting oh under my. your skin, but that's what happens what to your truth? spirit it's and your soul when you get stagnant in the house of God. Yes, you God. better get to work. And I'm going to say this as we close. And don't be lazy and expect the pastor or the apostle or the evangelist, whoever that leader is, to come to you and say, what do you want to do? Mm. Because depending on how big that church is or how busy they are, they may not have time to come to you and hold your hand and ask, right. what do you want to do? You know, you better be spending time with the Lord to with say, God. God, what do I need to do? And start going and asking questions. Find out who the That's leaders right. are because you don't have to run to the pastors for everything. If they have other ministers or, or elders or whatever they have up in there, you go and say, well, what can I do? Who can help me yes. along this part of my journey so I can make sure that I am clearly seeing and understanding what God wants me yes. to do? Be aggressive in your own assignment. Yes. And 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 I, and I also want to state that if you realize that your stagnation is not your fault because you're not being fed and you're not growing because there is no living water flowing right. from the fountain of the pulpit, then you ask God to show you where to go so you can start to grow. 
That's it. It's because just that simple. It's, it's just that simple. It's just that simple. Look. So we, we just thank y'all tonight y all um, so for, for um, just enduring so with us and walking through this work with us. Yes, we pray Lord. it has blessed you. If it has, please it has. share it with somebody. Tag somebody Hallelujah. in it. And we also want to say that we're going to be moving, <laughs> transforming you to the L Psalm page. Yes, we if will. If you type in the at symbol L S O M 1212. That's right. That will take you to our page. And so please like the page because this way you'll be able to get the updates and the notifications of when we, when we are on. Live. Because right now we have two computers here. Look, that's, that's out. My but, page, her page. Yes. So we, we want to just transfer over to just doing it from the, the L Sound page. page. So please follow us there, y'all. Please. That, that would be such a blessing for we would us appreciate just it. to see y'all faces and just to know that, um, um, somebody is being blessed. So if you feel yes, led, we don't want to pressure anybody. Mm -hmm. if, you don't, if you don't feel led, you to don't do have it, to. That's okay. But if you do, please like the page and um, follow us on this. Yes. You can see what we're doing. And this Saturday, on um, Friday night, we're going back out to Atlanta Recovery with Minister Tom on is preaching. Brothers of our food, our man of ministry. Yes, our man, man of food, food ministry. ministry will be cooking for the Brothers of the Atlanta Recovery Center. Amen. And then the very next day at 12 noon, we're going out to Hurt Park to um, distribute some sandwiches and water that's to right. the brothers and sisters who are homeless and in indeed, that area hallelujah. okay so please pray for us because listen look the if, warfare if is real if y'all saw the video the last time if you we did went down there, we, we had to get a little brooklyn mercy. up in there a little bit uh, no a little lot back up we we, we did it in love we but did. we had to so it's real out there in the street look, so pray for us and if you want to come and help us just let inbox us, know. us inbox you know us and, and let us page. yes and let us know again we love you very we, much we just thank god for you and in all you do never forget to, to present, present your bodies as a living sacrifice, sacrifice holy and acceptable, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. It's the least you can do. For all he's done for you. Hallelujah. We love you. We love you so much. Have a good night. Be blessed.